In this video, we will be looking at the pass the hash attack. The basic premise of how pass the hash works is that one account is compromised, and if that account has admin rights on the computer or workstation where the compromise takes place, that gives the attacker access to other credentials that are stored in the system. One type of credential is the NTLM password hash. If the attacker gets access to this, they can replay it against other machines within your environment to move laterally and elevate their privileges. So let's imagine in this attack, we are a user, uh, Jane Smith, and Jane clicks on an email or does something else that leads to her account being compromised. Now an attacker has rights to Jane's account, but Jane might not have access to anything else in the organization the attacker wants. However, if she has admin rights to the system, then the attacker can take that account and look at other credentials that are stored in memory. In this case, let's imagine that's the IT administrator account. Then they can use that account and replay that password hash to other systems and give them access to any systems and also the other password hashes that are stored on those systems and continue to move laterally until you get to your ultimate target. So let's take a look at how this works in practice. So now we're on my workstation here. Uh, I have Mimikatz and PowerShell, which are going to be used to show you how this attack takes place. And you can see I'm logged in as a user Steve. And if I look at the groups I'm a member of, I'm a member of the local administrators group, but not a member of any other domain security group. So I only have access to this computer. And you can see that if I try to run a PS exec command against my domain controller, I get access denied. So let's look at how we can use pass the hash to elevate our credentials and get access to that domain controller. I'm going to use Mimikatz. So I'm going to log this information to a log file to make it easier to search. Then I'm going to elevate my privileges because this does require admin rights. And I'm going to use the secure LSA log on passwords command. And you can see this is going to dump out all of the password information, the NTLM password hashes that are stored on my system. A lot of it is going to be for the local computer. Um, you can see also my account has information stored here. Uh, and we're going to look for some admin accounts. And you can see I've got one here, Tony. Tony is an administrator in my environment and I have his password. He may have logged on to my system to do some work and his password is stored in memory after he logged off. So I'm going to take that password hash and we're going to use a simple pass the hash technique with a secure LSA pass the hash command. I'm going to use the user as Tony Wonder, put in my domain qualified and my password hash. And this is going to start a command prompt. It still thinks I'm Steve Holt. But the elevated token is running as part of this process. So you can see when I use the same PS exec command, I now have access to that system as Tony Wonder. So that's the basics of the pass the hash attack and how attackers can use that to move laterally throughout your organization. To find out more about attack strategies and how to defend against them, go to netrix.com slash attack.